Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Rhonda MC. Today I am coming on with a Hobby Lobby slash Dollar Tree haul for you all. This is what I purchased this afternoon. All right, well, let's get started. First off, I found these really pretty um, sequin mix in the Easter section. A lot of their Easter stuff is 40% off. These were 40% uh, off. And I found these, they have the real pretty mint green and the purple, um, the iridescent white. And it looks like a really like soft um, yellow. They're really pretty up close. They look nice. Okay, so that's a mix that I found. Also, um, I needed some new paint brushes. My paint brushes have seen better days. So I found this set. I found these over in the kids section. Uh, Big Kids Choice little grippers. They have a little soft gripper on them. Make them nice and comfortable. I found those. Um, I also um, picked up a few things to work with my polymer clay. Uh, I needed a roller to roll my clay out with. I already had the uh, pasta machine roller, but I needed the little acrylic roller. And I found this cake decorating kit, and I thought this would work really nice. It's used for fondant, but I thought I could use this for my clay. It even has the little uh, gauges on the end, so you can determine uh, the depth of your clay. So I thought that was nice, and it, it came with a paintbrush, and looks like a little sculpting tool, and the little ball point. I'm not sure what this is in the bo the bottom thing is, but um, I thought this would work really nice. It's made by Wilton, and it's just a cake decorating fondant kit. I found that. I also... Um, I found these uh, Sculpty Tool cutters. I thought these would make really pretty earrings. How about that? Do all different sizes and you can put them together all different ways. So they're similar to the one, um, the earrings that I showed you all that I had made. And actually, I had made my cutter. This is the cutter that I had made myself and that I was using. And it is a little bit bigger you know, than those. So I may still be able to use that one too. I got those. Um, I found some clay. I got a real pretty brown. And then I found this silver that I thought was really nice. It's got um, glitter flecks all in it. It's really pretty. So I thought that would look nice. I found that. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I also uh, bought a little storage box. These were their jewelry storage boxes. They were on sale for 50% uh, 50 off. So I've got this to keep my beads in and some of the things, you know, once I get them completed. It's got all the different pockets in it, storage places. So I thought that would be nice. I also found in the jewelry section, the metal bracelet. I've seen where they use the metal bracelets to do the polymer clay bracelets and I'm going to try this with it and see how it works. Um, all the jewelry shop findings they were 50 per, per, ooh, I can't talk today. They were 50% off. So I got that. I also found um, these little ear not earrings rings. I thought they would be fun to put something on. Like I said they were half off so just to give it a try and see what they look like. I think they'll look cute. I also found some earring um, posts. I needed these for the back of some of the earrings. And then again, this is all jewelry shop stuff. Um, I found these links. I thought these would be pretty to make a bracelet with. Now, if anybody has ever used this um, jewelry shop, this type of um, the findings, can you let me know how well they hold up if they tarnish or if they last? I'm curious because I don't want to put a whole, whole lot of work into... Um, some polymer clay pieces and make a bracelet and then this thing you know turn like instantly because I have bought some findings and it's like a couple of days after you've worn it it just starts turning crazy all right um, that's it for the findings and then also I found uh, some metal leafing I got bought this to use with the polymer clay and for the earrings and all uh, then, in the clearance, I had a few things on clearance. I found, my daughter's making a scrapbook for my grandson. She asked to see if I could find some basketball stuff. So, I did find these, and there's a lot of basketballs. But since she's doing a basketball album, 
How appropriate are these? <laughs> they were on clearance, so we got those. Then we I also I found this one, and I thought this would be really cute. She could use the tennis shoes and the basketballs, and and I thought these were really nice. So those she'll be able to use in the album. And then um, also I found this textured. It's a Sizzix 3D textured impression folder, and the name of it is Fallen Leaves. Uh, I found this, and I thought that texture, look at it. When I saw the gold, I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be pretty on some earrings. So, I'm going to use that for some earrings, probably. Now, that will be all that I uh, got from Hobby Lobby. And then I went next door to the Dollar Tree, and I just picked up a couple of things there that I needed. Um, this little salad dressing container I found. These are really nice, like for putting um, your clear uh, gloss that you use. Nice to, you know, keep it so you don't have to have a big bottle of it on your workstation. So I found that. Um, I also I got me some of the silicone mitts. I needed these for when I uh, pull the stuff out of my toaster after they have uh, baked in the oven for a little bit. I got those. Those work really nice for that. And then also, this is a staple at my house. These little teeny containers. I use these for everything. Um, I use them to put like sequins in. I use them um, with my sugar, sugar cookie um, baking stuff. I do like the sprinkles, assorted sprinkles in them. Um, I use these things, oh my gosh, for everything. So that's all I got. I just wanted to come on and share with you all. All right, everyone, take care and have a blessed day.